friends. How's it going? I'm in Park City, Utah for a work trip and I am just going to get ready with y'all. I thought uh, it would be fun to see what products I pack when I go on vacation um, or just a trip in general. Um, I typically stick with Ophir stuff when I know I'm gonna do long day. I love the way my skin stays hydrated and then just how it looks on. And so that's what I'm gonna, that's mostly what I have packed. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do with you guys. So uh, if you've never used their products, it's absolutely amazing. Say hi when you're hopping on. I'm going in with a dewy primer. So started out this morning, I was at the airport at five o'clock. Uh, Tennessee time and I landed in Salt Lake City at five o'clock Tennessee time as well. So 12 hours of flying today to get here. Uh, we had an emergency landing on our flight. Crazy. Um, we ended up having to do an emergency landing in Omaha. Then we had a ton of fuel because we were from Chicago to Salt Lake City and so we had a hard landing is what they called it which was terrifying and I thought our plane um I've never gone so fast so close to the ground uh they I will give United Airlines this they did amazing with it but we had a lot of fuel and we had someone having a stroke on our flight and so it ended up being a really crazy um landing and just a crazy day and so um anyways Glad to be safe and sound and on this side of the country. All right, going in with some cardamom and coriander from Ophir. I used Dewy Primer. Okay, I need help. So, so we landed late. I was supposed to have gotten here at 11.30 today and my dinner is in 30 minutes uh, or to meet for the shuttle. I have to do makeup and hair uh, and get dressed. Um, I booked a plenty early enough flight, but I had no idea that just the unexpected was gonna happen. So I have two dress options to choose from. I have, so it's cocktail and they showed a lot of different options. So I'm gonna have you guys help me decide short or long. Ooh. Sorry, folks. I do have one undies, so if you saw anything, whoops. Um, okay, so I am not a huge fan of like my arms showing, but I have this option, and I thought I could wear it with a jean jacket, and um, I have some little sneakers. So this is kind of like a play on really fancy, like a movie Cinderella story, <laughs> I don't know, um, where it would be a fancy dress, but a jean jacket and sneakers. Then, so that's option one, or A, we'll call it A. Then option two, here's the jean jacket um, as well. So that would be what would go over it. Then option two is this really poofy sleeved short dress and I have clear like acrylic heels. Um, so those are my options. Anybody want to help me out? Uh, please? Anyone? All right, going in here with, um, now that I'm all blended, let me show you where I'm at. Do y'all have, you've never, well, I kind of have a construction zone in front of me, but ignore the construction zone and look at these mountains. Okay. All right, we're gonna go in with setting powder. A, A, everybody says A. I was thinking, do you think that's silly to wear a um, jean jacket with that? Do y'all wanna see that on? Jean jacket, A. Okay, if you were to see somebody, and I have these like little Louis Vuitton sneakers I could wear with it. Um, they're really cute. I spray tanned last night and then I didn't shower today. And uh, I was like, I'm gonna be so dark by the time I actually get to shower. I actually forgot to go get a spray tan. So I self tanned with that like two hour loving tan. And um, I woke up this morning and I was like, well that stuff works. Um, holy guacamole. Great, we're gonna bronze. Um, just 
just putting a little bit of this in my brows so that my brows are nice and whoops shaped so Veda's doing swim lessons uh I feel like we were traveling my kids were at their dad's over the weekend so I wouldn't have been able to be with them anyways for the big kids um and so uh this training technically goes until Sunday but I'm coming home Thursday night I'm taking a red eye and um just because I feel like I've been gone a lot. I think it's a balance when you're working and your mom and you have kids and you're like, okay, for my career, here are things like I have training all week up here. And you're like, okay, for my career, I feel like this is a good move, but also like being a mom, I wanna be sure that I'm like present. And um, sometimes it can just be a hard balance to like juggle, um, you know, summer with your kids. Okay, Ophir's bronzer in the shade Teak. And I'll blend all this out. Adam is not with me on this trip. No, uh, he is at home with all the kids. <laughs> this is, I mean, he, uh, well, he needed to be there with the kids. And um, he's taking them to the water park and to a theme park tomorrow. And so they're just going to have their best lives. <laughs> um, but he, uh, he wouldn't have really had anything to do if he would have came with me. So... Lexi, I FaceTimed her on the plane earlier and she was, are you scared? And I was like, no, I'm not scared. She's like, but you're having to sit next to strangers. And I was like, oh, it's totally fine. Um, but I did sit next to a man who was so sweet. His name was Jim. He was 80 and he was completely blind. And we talked, he has 23 grandchildren and eight kids. Five of them are doctors and he needed help with like opening his crackers and like turning his air on and off. And if you know me at all, you know that like, I loved volunteering, uh, even just recently looked into doing it again, like at the nursing homes. I absolutely love, like loved my grandfather, like love, like I just felt like I got to like, like hang out with a pat ball today on the flight. Like it was just the best. Um, he was so sweet and, uh, so whenever we were having the issues on the plane where we were having to make the emergency landing, I would like tell him like what elevation we were at, how fast we were going, and then like how, how many minutes before we landed. And so that way he could know what was going on. And so that's what we did. And that kept me pretty busy, uh, but I'm used to traveling with a lot of kids. So uh, what I'm doing right now is just taking one of those little sponges and making myself like a perfect contour. gonna blend around my face. If you ever go heavy and you're like, eeks, what did I do? Just take your foundation brush. Blend it out. Okay, uh, we're gonna go in with that same bronzer and just on like a little fluffy brush. We're gonna go in with some blush, which I feel like blush makes the biggest difference. Um, I love the shade Current, it's like a rich plum. And then I also love the shade Apricot. But I'm gonna do something really special, which is when you take the two shades. I'm doing the Current, which is that bright pink closer to the top. And this is gonna be like a little sunset ombre look. And then I'm gonna take this orange, uh, it's called apricot. So you can't really tell where one began and one ended, but it makes for the prettiest color. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that for my eyelid. So my intentions were I was gonna have so much time today, free time, I might would go shopping, 
all these things and that did not happen at all um, but that's okay I feel like everything happens for a reason um, I will say I got an upgrade on my Avis car rental uh, I was supposed to get a Honda Civic and uh, when I got there they were checking in a Wagoneer and I was like oh my gosh I've always wanted a Wagoneer those are so cute and she was like I can get it for you and I was like, seriously? And she was like, yeah, here, let me put it in. And so um, it took a little bit longer, but I got to get, I just felt like, oh, it's just, you know, a lot of weird things happened, but it ended up being a really good day. And you're like, it's not every day that you get to not have a Honda Civic and uh, you get to do a um, Wagoneer. I meant to curl my lashes. Oh. Bummer. Yeah, so we were in Colorado just for like three days. It was really short. It was for his best friend's 40th birthday and it was the weekend we didn't have big kids. So we were like, sure, we can make it out there. And now this is a work trip. So it's kind of a back to back. I normally don't do back to backs. So. I'm a little nervous, so I don't know anyone here. Uh, that's kind of a big stretch out of my comfort zone. I literally don't know anyone. Um, also, don't know if I'm going to get to have my hair finished. It might be a low slick back bun. And I'll get dressed with you guys so you can see this outfit if you want. Okay, we're going with the green. like it got the most votes so I'm taking back whichever one does we don't wear because I basically uh, only go to like Costco um, so it's a work trip for Modair it's a company I work with for like collagen and stuff and um, there's like a training um, Felt like I'm gonna turn. I absolutely love this lash curler. It is so good, um, but it's heated and you can't do it after you've done your mascara. So I'm turning it off so I don't catch my makeup bag on fire. Um, I felt like I had other things I was gonna do. Lips, lippy lippy. I hope I have. Okay, so if you've never shopped Oh, fear they do free color matches um, and you can go to the link in the description of this video and their makeup is like unmatched it's amazing y'all I don't know where any lip products are it might be a chapstick kind of night I just saw a lip liner but I have no sharpener um, all right, we're going in with some chapstick. It's gonna be one of those. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Um, you'll have to be patient because, well, because this is a size 10 and I really needed a 12 or a 14 and they didn't have it and I tried it on the dressing room and if I held it sideways, it worked and I'm gonna have to take my bra off because I already had a bra in in case I was gonna do the other one. So just everybody just Get to know each other. Say hi to somebody. Um, all right. So, give me one minute and we'll see how this all looks. You know when you're squeezing your body into something and you're like, oh, mercy. So, a good hack is, um, so you take your little dress here and I'm going to twist it to the side and zip it up and then twist it where it's supposed to go. And try not to have any sort of wardrobe malfunctions. Uh, there's a guy just running up this hill, just running his little best life. I cannot even imagine trying to run up this mountain that he's running. Uh, man, the dedicated people. I can barely breathe here. I don't know if you have ever gone to Utah or Colorado or anywhere where there's like a higher elevation. Sorry, I'm really trying to zip. Okay, so I successfully did a good little side zip 
and now I'm just rotating it to the back of my body. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, I could definitely have used a bigger size. Um, okay. So again, I might need to squish my girls around. Hang on. Um, oh well, we'll do this together. All right. So I have this. I feel like I've got something hanging out. I'll have to be in the lobby in 10 minutes. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, what do you think? Yes? If it's bad, don't tell me because I don't have time to change. I do need deodorant on. That's all I need to do is go and start trying to meet people and I don't have deodorant on. Um, okay. So this is kind of how it's gonna look. It's gonna be like, make sure no nothing comes out. I might need to tighten my straps. Um, so it's gonna look like this. And um, tennis shoes. And then let's find the deodorant. We're gonna do all the things. And then I'll go over what we wore on our face. Yeah. Have some bracelets. And we just are doing a get ready with me for going out. Uh, it's a cocktail attire. So, these bangles, and then I'm gonna really try and do my hair real quick. All right, friends. Thanks for getting ready with me. I wanted to show you where I was, catch you up on what happened on the flight. Just felt like I had a lot of stuff to catch you up on. And then how amazing is this makeup? Like we pulled this together in how long? Like no time. Um, their products are amazing. And I know they last for like a long, long time, which is good. So I don't have to worry about touching anything up. Um, So, Ophir does have several sales going on. If you haven't checked out their sales um, or you've never shopped, if you don't know what color you need, just send me a message. And whenever I'm like just sitting in an airport, I can catch up on them here in the next day or two. Um, and I can help color match you. Or you can go to their website and they have a foundation finder. But, anywho. I don't have a bra on at all. So that's probably why if, they, if they're sagging, there's, uh, you can't wear a bra with this one. So this is just, it's just gonna be like a mom that nursed four babies going out on the town. Uh, I'm gonna do my hair really quickly and then we're hopping off. Actually, I'm gonna hop off and I'll, I'll do my hair and spray it and I'm gonna be on my way. I think it, we might end up just doing, I don't really have time to actually fix it. So here we go. So like a classic um, low bun is so sleek and then some earrings and some perfume all right let's see what we want to do do you like these all right i think i'm liking them have that or I have those little medallions, but I feel like you go big or go home, right? If I don't go to the lobby, I'm not going to get to go on my ride. And I wanted to um, brush my teeth, but I think I have uh, like at least one or two pieces of gum in my bag and that might be what cuts it. I'd really love to do that, but I don't want, it's a shuttle bus and I don't want it to leave without me. Um, <gasps> so, cause I'm not sure if they know for sure that I'm here. And so, okay, here's my bag. Um, I'll put my phone in it when I get off of it. Tennis shoes on. Does this look dressy enough? White tennis shoes. Anyways, hope you guys have a good night.